Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. We are looking today at a number of things. A number of things that has come out that one of the photos used uh, in the Netflix trailer, uh, I posted this in the community section on the YouTube app, uh, is a complete fake and was not uh, representative of the paparazzi stalking the Monte Cretans. Uh, it was not. It was not. It actually was from the Harry Potter premiere from 2011. Uh, so you know, like just have a have a think about that one for a moment. That's uh, that's where we've gotten to so far. And you know, I was going to go into this episode today. My whole uh, my whole intention today with today's episode is to do some tarot, of course, is to have some tea and to snuggle a guinea pig later. But that's another topic for another time. My whole intention today was about William goes to war. That was that was the topic for today. William goes to war. But then I thought to myself, I saw Lady C's latest episode. Uh, I watched, uh, I haven't seen the whole thing yet, but uh, I did see some of her thoughts about the topic of Lady Susan. Lady Susan. And how this, uh, from what I gather, the particular individual in question, not Lady Susan, the other one, uh, uh, has sort of a kind of a stage name is that is that kind of what i take away from that not kind of her real name so it's kind of like the whole thing was uh bait it was bait but you know what how is that connected to william going to war because i mean let's let's look at the facts they've gotten into boston this is the the waleses now not the cambridges the waleses have been to boston Lady Susan is let go because of, you know, she's a horrible individual, apparently, and she's the worst person in the world because she asked where someone was from. Uh, that's a criminal behavior, honestly. It's uh, just reticent. What a, what just, what's the, reprehensible, that's the word I'm looking for, reprehensible behavior. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Re, what a reprobate for asking such a horrible question. But, you know, I was thinking, so they land in Boston, they're about to kick off the the awards in the in the sort of memory of, you know, Earthshot, Moonshot, the Kennedys, all the rest of it. The other mob are about to get, you know, their own award from the Kennedys. Isn't, wow, what a coincidence, right? In, in New York, whether or not they'll show up is another story. That's happening at the same time. And, of course, the it, it drops that there's, you know, the royal family harbour ist individuals, you know, with certain isms. And that, uh, you know, they're the worst people ever. So it's dropped at the same time. And I'm thinking, so Prince William's going to fight back. This is my point, or I'm having to get to this point. I think Prince William's going to fight back. Today's episode was going to be about him fighting back. It perhaps still will be. But then I hear about Lady Susan. I heard about, I hear about Lady, uh, Lady Colin Campbell's thoughts on the issue. And I couldn't help but think they've already lost the war. William may want to go to war, but he's already lost if uh, the fact they let lady susan go they let her resign on such a on and the timing of the timing of the resignation do you not think for one second they're not holding a party in montecito because of this timing because of this resignation do you not think that's a massive win for the enemy do you not think if we're going to go to war right if it's because it is war we saw this on the cards yesterday we saw it's war against the Waleses. It's war. It's war on the royal family. It's all out war. For what reason? Well, it remains to be seen. What can they gather? Is it just for money? Let's ask. That's going to be our first question of the day. Is this war just for money? Or is there some other reason to it? It is true that we can only take our rational minds so far with this particular issue before it starts to get into very very bizarre territory and very very strange territory that i have trouble wrapping my mind around uh sometimes and i do hear some great comments in the comment section uh obviously the comment section uh around our comment section around uh some of the motivations that are a little bit more psychological they're very interesting comments so do do drop them in the comments i i don't want to repeat some of them because i don't want to sort of attach my approval to some comments they're so good and so insightful but they're so taboo in a way you know what i'm saying and i don't want to as much as i want to recognize some of the comments and how fantastic they are i don't also want to uh you know i have to i have to walk a thin line here i suppose uh, don't we all uh, don't we all I mean, although hats off to lady c for confronting this tricky issue i wasn't sure i wasn't sure i wanted to con to you know sort of to um 
to tackle this particular issue. She does. The, the balls on Lady C is just phenomenal. <laughs> you know I mean? you got to hand it to her. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, the Fool, this is Cards of Hot, The Fool. The question again is, what are they in it, what are they in it for? Is, is it, why do they want to go to war with the royal family so bad? Is it just money or is it something else? That's the question. Eight of Wands, The Fool, Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Prince of Swords, Underlying Energy, the Magician. Yeah, okay. So the Underlying Energy, let's just, let's get this one sort of on the table, uh, out and about. It's, they're creating, you know, this is, they're creating something out of nothing, really. That's what, I mean, that's what they're doing. That That's what the Magician is, archetypically, right? If we're talking about archetypes, right, we're talking about archetypes, not, you know, stereotypical grievances, okay? We're not talking about grievances. We're talking about archetypes here. The magician is create something from nothing. And that is uh, a very powerful archetype. And applied to this particular, you know, case, they're creating a case out of nothing. It's manufacturing at its best. <laughs> manufacturing at its finest. Uh, and, you know, interestingly, when we look at the, the photograph from 2011 of all the paparazzi lined up to take photos of Harry Potter, well, it makes me think, it makes me think, is this, uh, what are they trying to say here? Is this... Does the H in the blanket actually stand for Hogwarts now? I think I suggested that to you uh, a couple of days ago. Maybe there's more truth to that than met the eye in first instance. Isn't it how the truth... It, it, it's funny sometimes how you say things and, you know, you just you just say them because they're kind of, you know... You know what I'm trying to say. Try to have a good time. And there's sometimes truth to things, right? So... And you don't necessarily get why there's truth to it. But in any event, it was a, it was a totally a Hogwarts special. And that's been repurposed for the Netflix special. And though that many paparazzi were never following uh, the Monte Cretans. Why can I say that? Because you damn right sure you would have seen a photo of that many paparazzi taking photos of them. As opposed to a, uh, from what I gather, a like a, a purchasable photo to use for whatever per commercial purpose you want. Which is what they've done. Which begs the question, how much fake stuff are we going to see? We're going to ask that question later. So, is this about money? R right away, I can see they don't really have, you know, this is about self-selfishness. Really, that's what it is with the Nine of Cups. Look at this. Central card in the reading, it's about, it's about, they're getting gratification out of doing this. So that's, we have to understand, when you go to war, you have to understand the enemy's motivation. You have to understand your own motivations too, and you have to weigh everything up. But you have to understand here, a lot of this isn't about money. It's about, yes... It's about titles for the children. Again, we've come up to this again. They're going to be attacked over this. They're going to get attacked over this because the titles weren't given. This is a big issue. And I think it was leaked to the media a couple of weeks ago. You know, a certain ex never cared about titles, right? Except mother, right? Uh, <laughs> okay. But now she does. All right. Now she does because they're kind of leaking it. They're leaking what they really want. That's what it is. It's like, we will sort of back off this. If you give us what we want. We will back off. And it's coming out now in the media. Charles kept ringing uh, Charles. Uh, ha Despair kept ringing Charles over money, over and over again. Money, money, money. And he said, please don't call me, just email me. That's what he said. He's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not a bank, right? I'm not a bank. You've gone your own way. Support yourself, man. That's how it works. You know, that's how it works. So that's it. It's, it's, it's gratification at this point. And it's, I, I do think it's about titles for the kids. I think that's a huge part of this, an underlooked part of this. And they did drop this, which is why I'm thinking of it. But also, too, they don't really know what they're doing apart from this. It's kind of, they're just figuring out as they go along in, in some ways, in some ways. It's kind of, they want to, you know, go where no one's gone before, <laughs> right? It's kind of sick when you think about it. Uh, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. So there's a lot of... You know, I see this doing it for, you know what, I'm going to wrap this reading up, this particular spread, and we'll move on to some other things. I'm going to wrap this up with personal glory. They're doing it for personal glory. That's what it is. Maybe, maybe despair doesn't really know what he's doing. He's just going on for the ride. I could, you could say that from the cards as well. All right, moving on. How does, how does William feel about striking back? Is he going to go to war as some papers are claiming? You know, that type of thing. Let's have a look. Is Prince William going to go to war against the Sussexes? Uh, you know, it's not implausible because of his comments. We are not an ist family. 
We don't have any isms, uh, except for the fact that you've just admitted by proxy that you do have isms and characters within the organization that are like that now. I, I'm going to say it because it's true. And if no one else says it, then you need to hear it from me because that's just unfortunately the worst possible timing to let that poor woman go. Uh, so what can I say? What can I say? If ever I ever get invited to something special, I'm going to dress up like, like you wouldn't even believe. All right. I'm going to dress up like you wouldn't believe. And if, you know, it's going to be on. If anyone even asks what's going on with that, it's on. I mean, easiest setup in the world. All right. Cards are hot. Is William going to, well, he's conflict. Okay. Card number one. Is William going to war? We have, we have war. We have conflict on the cards. Nine of swords. Yeah. Okay. It's weighing, it's, I don't want to say this publicly, but yeah, it's weighing on his mind. All right. We, we, it is. So it's getting to him. Eight of, you know, eight of wands. So we're matching the energy here with the eight of wands. In the previous spread, we saw the eight of wands from the uh, Monte Cretans. A uh, lot of actions being taken. A lot of action. I mean, we're seeing a tremendous amount of action. I'm surprised they didn't get more into the whole uh, royal family jibs on the Spotify. But they're saving it up. They're saving it up for the big unveil unveiling of fakeness. Ace of Wands and the Six of Coins, Underlying Energy, the Hierophant. So, okay, this is the Royal Family. Uh, the Royal Family, and this is actually the Justice card as well. So, we're seeing here an almost a, mirror, a mirroring of the energy we saw for uh, the... Remember we saw the Justice card, we also saw the, the Chariot. We saw the Chariot as well. They're going to go, you know, this is about revenge. Remember that in a recent episode? It's about revenge for the Monocretans. Uh, well, this is about this is about justice for the royal family now. This is where it's at. So I'd say war confirmed. Uh, it is weighing heavily on at least William's mind, but maybe others. And it looks like they're going to take massive action. Okay, so that's a big deal. I was I wasn't sure what to think here. I did see the news article that was posted today. I did see that. Uh, I was more I was more interested in the Harry Potter aspect. <laughs> Not because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, but just because. How outrageous is it to, to put a picture up there? To steal the thunder of those poor... Uh, what was his name? Daniel? Is it Daniel and Emma? And who's the other individual? Uh, yeah, those guys. To steal their thunder, right? The, the, pap, the paps were out for Harry Potter and co. All right, the paps were not out for despair and revenge. <laughs> okay, all right? They weren't. They weren't. It's... So, you know, it begs the question, you know, I mean, okay, what, there's nothing else I can say about these cards, right? They really, there's, there's a will for war. <laughs> okay. I'm going to actually, you know what, that's such a good uh, play on words. A will for war is going to be our part of our title today. A will, not a William for war, a will for war is going to be a, uh, on the title today, it's such a good play on words. Because, because there is, there's a will for war. Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Coins. Okay, Six of Coins, what's the next card? Ace of Pentacles. So, oh, what's this? Are they going to, they're going to be releasing bits of information. That's what, that's what I get here. They're going to be releasing bits of information uh, that are going to be in small doses, but powerful information in small doses. So they, this is, this is so they can fight back. All right. They're not going to, you know, and I think that's probably, that makes a lot of sense. They're not going to spend every waking moment of their lives, you know, obsessed over this. They're not going to imagine if they signed on with Netflix, wouldn't that be the funniest thing you'd ever see? In fact, if I was Prince William, I'd do it as a joke. I'd, I'd call the Netflix up and I'd, I'd say, look, I want my own mockumentary. Is, okay. I want my own mockumentary to hit back. Okay, because I'm going my own way now. I want to make $200 million and we're going to have our own documentary hitting back. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and I want upfront $200 million. I am the Prince of Wales, heir to the throne of, the, of, the, of all the realms. Give me $200 million. Or actually, why not ask for $1 billion? I think that's a good idea, William. Ask for $1 billion and give them... Give them some good comedy, William. You know what to do. All right, you know what to do. Really, just you got to, you've got to, you've got to own them. All right, you've got to own them. So, all right, that's that's what they're going to do. They're going to release bits of information, jibs and jabs. Uh, what can I say? That's uh, that's what they're going to do. Next, next up, the fakeness. All right, the fakeness. 
the Harry Potter. Imagine if I put out a photo showing, you know, whatever, some some film premiere, the first Harry Potter, all the paps and all the rest of it, whatever. And I said, oh, they're all after me. I just can't, oh, I just can't deal with it anymore. People would laugh. Like, because it's funny, right? People would laugh because I'm taking the piss. But imagine actually doing it seriously. Imagine doing it seriously, taking a photo of some other premiere. They wish they had that type of premiere for Netflix. I mean, they would probably... I don't know, do, I don't know, do, do, I don't even know what they do in the chicken coop to get that happening, to be honest with you, I have no idea, and I don't want to know, uh, poor chickens, but, you know, let's say that it's not looking good, it's not looking good, so let's find out, how much fakeness are we going to get in these documentaries, how much fakeness, can I just say, I really feel the energy has turned in the last, sort of, three days on this whole, on the whole journey, just as I was hearing, you know, when does it end? When does it end? When does it end? Non-stop in the comments. Uh, you know, I've been saying for some time now, the journey doesn't end because it doesn't. And now we're seeing that it isn't dying down. They were waiting to release the most foulest hit pieces imaginable. They were. They were waiting. They were biding the time. Probably, who knows? Maybe they were waiting for the queen to pass before they really amped it up to the max, which is what's happening now. And... I did call this, I called this in a TN Tower episode a long time ago, I said they've really dropped the ball, they really dropped the ball by being so, you know, stop inviting them over, stop doing all that because they have no idea who they're dealing with, and I was criticised heavily at the time, okay, I don't think I'm criticised for that anymore, so, cards are hot, I was probably, I don't know, I was I the first person in the media to call that, that it's time for them to start really pulling their finger out and start, you know, scorched earth a bit, cards are hot, alright, how much fakeness are we getting? Two of coins, temperance. You know, do you know there's a precedent? There's a precedent. Okay, let's throw the cards and I'll tell you about the precedent. Uh, Prince of Cups, Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Underlying Energy, Death. So how much fakeness are we going to get? Do you know there's a precedent for banning people from Britain? And I'm not just talking about people that, you know, let's, you know, certain, you know, terrorists, right? Terrorists get banned from Britain. You can't go to Britain if you're a terrorist. Okay, that's the truth of it. They have a list. Do you know there's a member of the US media that is banned from entering Britain? Do you know there's a precedent for this? And he's been banned for over a decade and unable to get himself off. He can't go to Britain. He can't tour Buckingham Palace. He can't even land in Heathrow without being turned away. And he is a talk show host by the name of, I believe, Michael Savage. Can, have you have you heard of this? I'm not sure if you've heard of this. Do you know where he's based, interestingly? California. <laughs> Do you know that? California. And he had, or has, um, I, I believe, a rather large talk show in the United States. He is unable to go to Britain. Why am I saying this? Because there is precedent for banning individuals from entering Britain. Just think about that for a moment. Just think about it. With a, with a pen, with a stroke of a pen, you know, and it begs the question, I, I'm sorry I have to say this, but I, I have to tell you this, I have to tell you this, are they still going to go to the coronation just like they did the Queen Jubilee? Are they still going now? After all the shivving and the jibbing, well, you're going to say to me, of course not. Am I going to say to you, of course they are, because they went to the Jubilee after Oprah. Right? If you can take a massive dump on your family's head on Oprah and still go to a Jubilee, I'm fairly sure you can drop in Netflix and still go to the coronation. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. There's something. Do you, and they still would go. Why wouldn't they? It's publicity, right? I mean, they're royals. They deserve it, right? They're titled up and everything. So I'm just saying, you know, man, look at look at the trouble we're in. That's what I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to draw this to your attention. Look at the trouble we're in. Cards are hot. I don't know, man. They're talking about doing away with the monarchy in Australia. In fact, if you don't, if you're not aware of Australian politics, the night that the the new government got in, they started talking about altering the constitution um, for a particular unrelated purpose, but it is related because they're going to chuck the monarchy out when they alter the constitution. They just want to do it in a way that's palatable to the people. Okay, you heard it here first. All right, I knew that from day from day one. I could just see it coming a mile away. So we're, we're going to be monarchy-less in Australia, and that means, of course, we're going to be speaking Chinese. So let that be known. All right? Ni hao. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. What do I see on the cards? How much fakeness are we going to get? We're going to get, we're going to get a lot. Uh, you know, this is a card I've seen since almost day one on Famous Fortunes in regards to uh, a certain ex-wife. 
We're going to mix so much truth with falsehood, you're not even going to know yourself anymore. Look at this. We've got two cards. It's truth with falsehood all the way. It's all going to be emotional, uh, emotional whitewashing, you know, whatever. You, okay, can I use the kind of blackwashing, greenwashing, yellowwashing, you know what I mean? <laughs> whatever, you know, it's going to be washed with so much uh, mixed truth with, with lies. It's going to be unbelievable. You notice we're not even seeing a gaslighting card. You know, the death card here, it says to me that there's going to be so much mixing of truth that it's going to almost be like, it's not even the same anymore. It's just like, it's like another, it's like, it's like, it's not even recognizable as what it should be. And well, of course, because they're creating it out of nothing. Remember the, you know, remember the first card we saw, the magician, right? They're creating some, something out of nothing, uh, which they are in this case, something out of absolutely nothing. What can I say? Uh, it looks like it's going to be so fake. It's not going to be recognizable as anything relating to the truth whatsoever. Oh, damn, where's the dictionary when you need it? All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to finish watching Lady C talk about, uh, Lady Susan and Negosi Fugazi as well. Uh, I think her name is Fulani. Sorry. Negosi Fulani. And, uh, the royals need to get their act together. Well, that's about time people started, you know, prominent people started to call that out because I'm not a prominent person. <laughs> no, this is to me and probably they shouldn't either. But uh, I think it's time. I think it's time that pressure really, you know, Lady C, if you look at every single one of her, uh, what can I say? Every single one of her descriptions in her videos say there's actually an address. Note, letters to King KC3 should be sent to His Majesty the King, Buckingham Palace, London, SW1A, 1AA, United Kingdom. Yeah. And I would say to you, if you write a letter asking for uh, certain individuals to be, you know, banned from Britain or have their titles stripped or just, you know, wailed on, whales on, right? Uh, make sure you write it on the envelope. Take their titles. Just write it on the envelope. Say, do, 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 and then write with like red, take their titles because they're probably not going to open it. <laughs> right? They're not going to open it. They're just going to be like, oh, we get 50 miles. And, oh, just chuck it in the bin. Write it so they see it on the envelope. Take their titles, exclamation mark. Okay. The United Kingdom deserves better treatment. You know, something like that. Just leave a message that they know. They know what it's about. I think I suggest you do that because if we're going to go to war, right? If you're going to go to war, war is not always fought with Netflix documentaries. War is fought with um, messaging, right? Messaging, which is... Netflix documentaries, but we, you know, use your own messaging to your advantage. Get creative. Um, I, I would write to William. In fact, I'd write to William because he's the one I think who's publicly, you know, stepped out of the the narrative, and he suggested that you know the royal family is very much a not an ist family. I'll never say that word. I'm never going to say that word because it's such a vile and charged word with such horrible negative energy that I'll never say that word. So that's my, uh, that's my take on that issue. Um, when, when words are charged to the point of, um, magic, I'll, I'm going to stay away from those words. Thank you. I'm going to stay away from those words. So, all right. What can I say? Let's, uh, let's, let's leave it there. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you've seen Lady C's episode, then you're especially welcome to comment. If you haven't, then go ahead and leave your thoughts and your impressions of today's episode. What, I mean, what else can I say? Let's have a look. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I should have said that from the beginning. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to tell you the best tarot story of all time. All right, I'll see you in the comment section.